We go to the hospital to get better, but a Chicago Tribune investigation reports more than 100,000 deaths in the year 2000 were linked to infections patients got in the hospital. The paper says most were preventable. While many health officials question the numbers, the story is focusing new attention on a growing problem. More from ABC's John McKenzie. It is a battle more and more hospitals are losing, the spread of deadly germs. According to the Centers for Disease Control, hospital-acquired infections are linked to as many as 90,000 deaths a year. I think the cutbacks that have occurred at hospitals, particularly involving nurses and trained nurse specialists, have added to the increase in hospital-acquired infections. Government data show about 6% or more than 2 million people admitted to hospitals each year will pick up some kind of infection. Germs that would not be harmful to a healthy person at home become potentially deadly in a hospital where patients are often too weak to fight the infection. Many researchers say up to a third of deaths from hospital infections could be prevented. Studies suggest that doctors and nurses simply by washing their hands more often could dramatically reduce the spread of germs. But there's much more that could be done. Mount Sinai Hospital in Toronto is on the forefront in the fight against infections. The model program begins as soon as a patient arrives. And I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Thorough screening targets people more likely to be carrying these infectious bacteria. Have you been hospitalized in any other country than Canada in the past five years? Anyone considered at higher risk is tested immediately. We're going to be doing the swabs today. Systematic sweeps of the hospital check every patient in every ward several times a year, ensuring no one has been contaminated. New sophisticated lab techniques allow scientists to see the genetic fingerprint of a single isolated bacterium, helping to better understand how it got there and how to treat the patient. This person is contaminated. Finally, if the bacteria are detected, there's rapid response. Every department is mobilized. Housekeeping, the kitchen staff, nurses' aides, each group following a detailed plan to halt any spread. The program is working. Levels of antibiotic-resistant germs, often the most deadly bacteria, are down at the hospital 40% over the last three years. And the program is cost-effective because doctors no longer have to treat as many infections and isolate as many patients. The hospital calculates it's actually saving more than half a million dollars a year. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.